Hey guys, uh, this is another just real quick tip. Uh, somebody was asking me how to do this, um, and so I figured it'd be nice to just do a little video to show uh, exactly what they were doing. They were doing this with a different add-on, uh, but this is a good enough one to show. So what they wanted to do was to be able to roll back to a previous version of an add-on that's no longer available on that add-on's repository anymore. Specifically, they were looking at the tracked add-on, um, but I know that uh, recently there had been an issue with the plugin uh, for the MovieDB Helper where some people were wanting to roll it back as well because it was crashing. Uh, now that problem is fixed, but this may be a little good primer for somebody who needs to roll back a version and isn't able to figure out how. Okay, so if you are on GitHub, um, so GitHub is uh, where many, many, many add-ons and tons of other software and code are stored uh, online. There's sources here. Um, and so, for example, this is the GitHub for uh, up here at the top, plugin.video.themoviedb.helper. Okay. Now, the way that Cody works when it looks at the version of an add-on is it looks at this file right here, add-on.xml. So, whenever... Cody, whenever an add-on needs to change its version number, that file is going to change. Um, it changes this line right here that says version. So currently this is version 3.2.2, um, but what we want to be able to say is what if I wanted to get version 3.2.1 uh, or version 2.7.8 or whatever. So the best way, in my opinion, to do this is to go to this file, addon.xml, and check out the history on the right hand side right here. So if I hit history, that's going to give me a list of what are called commits, where each one of these commits is a change that the developer made to that file. So let's look at this one, for example. Um, in this file, he changed it. He updated this add-on from version 3.2.0 to version 3.2.1. So if we wanted to, we could say that this commit, this one right here, is the commit where that add-on was 3.2.1. Okay, if I wanted to pick a different commit, um, like down here maybe, just, just one of these, <clears throat> then it will show me this was the commit where he updated it from version 3.1.2 to version 3.1.3. So if I wanted version 3.1.3, this is just my example here, if I wanted this version that's no longer available to install from the repository, um, but for some reason we want to look at it, I can hit Browse Files. And what this does is it takes me to what the actual source code of this add-on would have been at that point when he made that update. Um, this was about a month ago, June 20th. Okay, but now all I have to do is hit this drop down right here and hit download zip. Um, you could also right click on this and copy the address if you needed to send it to somebody, for example. But if you hit download zip, then you're going to get the zip of the add on and you can install it from, from zip inside Kodi. Uh, if there are dependencies that aren't met, that may be a little bit trickier, like you may need to have the right repositories to deliver those dependencies, but this is like, in my opinion, one of the best ways to get an older version of an add-on that is no longer being distributed on a repo. Uh, so I hope that that kind of helps you guys out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.